I don't think there is. I might be wrong on that, chat. So, of course, now we do dip into loser's quarters. Loser gets fifth here, of course. Uh, and yeah, so Nalax is rocking the exact amount of people who used it. And I've heard that four so does pretty well in this match. Yeah, I, I feel like Force overall is pretty good at snuffing out Zerburn's options. But again, you're, you're still fighting Zerburn at the end of the day. He's good. He's going to rock you if you let him in. Sure. But nonetheless, you, you have uh, at least with Force you have a little bit of a disjoint with that little dagger. Mm -hmm. So that helps a little. People like saying Zerbin doesn't have additional to his claw, so you know, he's been actually with the dagger right here, or maybe see that kind of thing. He's trying to find the moment game, back out of strong. Why is that for the number one attack? Yep. And that's a new move as well from, uh, from Forceburn. He can just side B off of his clone in order to get that little boost in horizontal recovery if he needs to. Pretty cool move, honestly, that they've added. To yeah, the I, I think that's a really cool thing that they've added to Forceburn. Nice here. Going to go over ledge. That one is still doing really well overall on his recoveries. And to be fair, it comes back to well, Force Burn, if he has the, the, uh, the smoke setup, can still do pretty well in the recovery department, but he has to have the smoke setup. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to get them in there. Probably wants a different hitbox, obviously, to see him going for the downtime after the confirm, even if it didn't hit. We're chasing with the down with the down, shall I say, and there's the clone being set up. Obviously, uh, Nelax gonna get rid of that very susceptible uh, recovery too. Man, it's really hard to get back against that. Yep. But look at Bleb here, confirming off of uh, the first hit of a strong. This is also another thing that we don't talk too much about when it comes to Force Burn. Yeah. It's just those strongs are very atypical, and especially in Rivals 1, I feel like they, you could confirm a strong into the the other part of another strong, for instance, like drop strong into down strong. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's as true in Rivals 2, but it's still a good DI yeah, mix-up overall. He's now snatching at any approach from Nalax, you not know, looking bad. Lev trying to put, uh, put down some pressure here with the F-Tilt, but Nailax is going to catch with the grab. And the up tilt tilt. is going to get buried! Oh, Nailax and actually getting split. a miss input with the down B flip. Probably wanted uh, to be reverse it backwards. Probably way bouncing, I believe. So a little bit of a miss input there, going to cost him the first game. And still sticking with that, but of course, wasn't exactly too far behind, but Bleb just that little bit in front. Yep. And to be fair, chat, it's not that infrequent to see top player, uh, top players and rivals just do miss inputs, just because the game is so fast sometimes. It's so like in the fire of the action, and sometimes you're you're just like, I want to do this, and then you miss input it. It happens. But yeah, obviously, Nilax taking the time here to really think about the stage, uh, the stage pick. And we are going to go to Hododo and try to get some very good confirms potentially off of this tribe life layout. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see what uh, can happen on these tribe plans. Of course, we said before Zeta, but it's a monster on these tribe plans. We saw the spider, but I think Forceman loves to juggle here as well with the up airs, the forward air hit falls. Um, he'll be no stranger to juggling the stage too. Yeah, Forceman is not like. He, he can be a combo machine, but like Nalax is not going to let him the uh, the opportunity to even do anything at this point. First stock taken in less than 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Left here, going for the edge guard, not catching the uh, the up with the up air, but nonetheless, uh, we still got some very good, uh, just a lot of hitboxes coming out from Leb overall in order to stop Nalax's momentum. Okay, being so fire now, okay, with the fireball, have to watch out now, charging the shine, going far out to make sure he's still affecting the smoke as well. Really good uh, abuse of that recovery from Nalak, understanding his own character. Yeah, that, that's the big thing we were talking about, like, you want to snuff out the, the Force Burns uh, smoke in order to make sure that it doesn't get back onto, uh, onto stage. And just charging the shine on the 
surprisingly potent tool that I don't see used that often. I agree. I mean, not. Just like that, Nate, like, the Nash is just the biggest lead right now. Already on 95% on the lead. Yeah, at this point, this yeah. is a see what they do for data type of, uh, type of game. Right? You're not really going to win this game. Um, so you just want to see what you can do. You think you can up for that. See what you can do to kind of respond. But still, all the back air not hitting with the up strong right there. No confirm. Going back air from Gleb. He's going to take that set, that first stock finally. Yep, uh, that straight hit with the back air is finally going to take that stock. Nonetheless, nonetheless once again, Nalax is just going to cover completely that ledge. We will make sure that Blip doesn't come back. Okay, 1-1 one, one now. Nalax has evened it up. I think that's another thing as well. Like, Forceman doesn't have that many options uh, to for comebacks. Right. One of her characters. Like, he does have Tom Bust if he has absorbed all the, all the smoke. But that's still a risky play because you've absorbed all the smoke. And therefore, you can't use it to like hide and potentially TP into it to TP again. Mm -hmm. So it's it's always an interesting mechanic to use to have combust. Yeah, combust can be kind of interesting in how you're kind of using it. Um, obviously, you can use up the super clone as well, but some obviously some people want obviously go for the bigger couple, the big kill move. But Super Lone does control neutral better, so it's kind of like, you know, take a pick what you want to use first, so very interesting. Resource management at its finest, at the end of the day. Now we're going to go to Gold Eye Delta, also known as PS2, if you are a Smash player. <laughs> of course. But to be fair, it is a very neutral stage. But look at Nalax just going with all the fairs in the world. And getting reversed for it as well. Like, Blev is going to cover that ledge with that down air. He's going to hold the ledge for too long. Good fake up from Nalax. Charges to shine. Just a sour hit forward. That's going to push him off stage. And there's the Gatling. Just for that aerial control. Yep. We've got more fares coming in from Nalax. It gets the reverse fare as well. And that should be more than enough to cover Blev's recovery here. Yeah, not it's enough good timing time. available down below. Yep. There's all good timing on the on the hall. Okay, good K pick up the up tilt as well. Into the up air. Again, the juggles. Horseman does love them, but again, the Gatling from Zeb are going to save the day from Nalax. Keep him uh, bit away from him. Yep. And overall, Blev is doing an excellent job as well. Dying away from the Gatling for the most part. But nonetheless, Nalax is going to come back here. Yeah. And apply a lot of pressure potentially. Nope, gets grabbed right out of it. Here, but there's an up air affair. Trying to go for the charge to shine, but gets back air in return. Yeah, jumps straight into that back air. I don't even know what happened right there. Okay, the up tilt reverses it the first time as well to kind of keep that combo going for that uh, right side combo. Really good option from there. But now that's step that one out. Great lead so far. And it's a full, full ownership right now of the right ledge. Oh. is just going to be able to wow. sneakily teleport and then just we're just going to run up and down strong the force burn. He just chased him down. Yep. And now again we're locking down with the shines. You you, you have to lock big against Zetterburn's edge guard at this point. Like, this is yeah, becoming a Fallout minigame. <laughs> well, that's the thing. They always say, you know, just edge guard uh, Zab and Fallout. Like, the recovery sucks, but, you know, the better of these Burn Brothers, they'll make it work. They'll make the recovery work. More side B. What I'm noticing as well is that Blim is constantly on fire. Right? <laughs> this matchup. Like, yeah, and that, I think like, that's just Zeta in general. Like when you play against Zeta, you just you just have to be on fire all the time. You know, the side bees, the down bees on the ground, and the shine. True. But I feel like just overall, Blev has been eating a lot of straight firewalls and stuff like that. For sure. Yeah, and again, the edge guard situation. He likes going deep. The clone is the one to die. Thank, uh, thankfully for Blev. 
but nonetheless, again, we, we have to land against Zerogurn, which is like the hardest thing in this game, oh it would seem. God. That was explosive. Yep. The Epsilon's closed out as well. Like, Nailax is in the zone right now. Yeah, I think he's... Uh, one of those players is kind of a slow burner, takes a while to kind of speed it up, but once he's like really feeling it, he can really start to cook, so... Yep, Nelax is really one of those players who really thrives into uh, first review formats. Mm -hmm. Just overall. Just because he takes a lot of time to analyze. For sure. 2-1, two, 2 left and right. Uh, left and sorry, to Nelax right now. To Nelax. <laughs> <laughs> Winner gets left and. But of course, yeah. Two left and right, half back. And left already going for the clone pressure on that shield. Clone on shield is kind of interesting because you can always detonate it for more pressure. Sure. So it's a very fun move to use. Okay, you guys are on the floor though, so you are going to get successful to a tech chase on that platform. Good up the left. They're getting a lot of momentum starting this uh, this game. They're already nail out so Pushing down, trying to make sure that Lev stays on that right side. Lev is going to be able to get center stage back, but again, pushed on the right side by Nailax. He tries to set up the smoke with the neutral B, I like the option. He will set up the clone while Nailax gets the rid of the smoke. Yeah, Nailax is using, uh, using the field a lot to actually get rid of the smoke. But gets caught here by the Armstrong from Lev, and Lev is in the lead in this game. Honestly, Lev can take it. That's the big thing, like, Blev can take it if he can manage to hold his ground. The problem is that way too often, right, uh, he ends up in, the, in these edge guard situations. And this is where he takes a lot of percent, I feel like. Okay. Yeah. He opens a down or something, but just couldn't find that right hit. There's a special get-up attack. The more the get-up attack is just in general to get him off with the offensive. And Nailax is just playing just a little bit more outside of the force range right now. Okay, shielding. We should try and catch it again with that side set of special. You can see Bled slowly flickering the shield to wait for that parry. And the side B blazes. Even gets the back air as well to recover pretty safely here. But there's the fair, the straight fair is going to take it. Oh, yeah, he's finally getting his spot. damage. Yeah. That, that's the thing, like Zerubin has that comeback factor. Fire is just a very good comeback factor potentially once you get it set up. This is what we were saying, like, Force Burn is more of a uh, play from ahead character, I feel like. Yeah. But Zero Burn can play from ahead and behind pretty easily. Mm, maybe scan the to survive. Pity flip on the edge, the edge cancel as well, very smart from there. Like, Gap is fun very quickly. Now he's a prime shine, he's right back into this game. Yep. Max trying to go, go for the back here. here. We need to get both, and again, a little bit of a gatling here, not gonna be quite enough to kill. Ooh, they are trying to get cheeky here with this up B. They're getting caught for it. He's looking very close right now between the, uh, the two players. For sure. Dash attack to down from there. The, the grab, trying to read a roll onto that platform. Oh, they're fighting for that ledge, honestly. They're, they're just fighting for that ledge. They're gonna have to. No, he's out now, though. Okay, he's pops it early. Okay, kind of upset him. He was get the forward end. He actually DI'd in. Yeah, he DI'd in, and that allowed Blev to actually get the throw right after. In, uh, and now Blev is once again back in the lead. Keep it, and Alex doing a good double, kind of coming back. Blev starts to get momentum once again. You talked about before, when Blev does get momentum, the force one. And the force to be recognized. That's the big thing. And Nelax also is a little bit off every time with like grabbing the ledge yeah. when Bleb is uh, recovering. Just kind of allowing him to go to the ledge pretty much for free as well. Look at that. We're, uh, we're going to find Nair. Again, trying to go for those spikes with the shine, but good teleport into the smoke here from Bleb. I feel like Bleb 
definitely needs more percent. He's like, Mermaid, he's only got 50 on him. If he dies now, then they like to definitely come back. He needs a little bit more extra credit. Yeah, that's the oh, thing. Yeah. Finally, we headbutt it right out of there. Okay, jab on your shield, the cape as well, the F tilt as well. You can see all the space options from the level coming out to make sure Nalax don't stay on top of it. Is that yeah. a big offensive guy? Yeah, at the same time, Nalax is doing a good job of just uh, spot dodging most of these options. But now we have to contend with the tech chases. Nalax finding oh, those up pairs, finding the shines. And now oh, and he just covered the up B, the teleport. That's what it takes. That, that is all it takes, honestly. Just one bad day in the Forsburn's life, and he's gone. <laughs> just so much pressure applied in those high uh, situations. You never know what you're going to do, so you just kind of panic, and that recovery is just going to get uh, spotted out.